Hi, good morning. It's Wayne Mansfield. Just back from a trip around Australia with uh, Qantas and our seminars, Cold Calling for Scaredy Cats and Twitter for Business. Had nearly 300 people and the feedback was tremendous. If you didn't come, next time. Love to see you there. I've been reading about uh, all the problems that Qantas have been having with engines blowing up on their A380 and another engine blowing up on a 747 and the people complaining about uh, being inconvenienced our superstar cricketer Shane Warne rubbishing Qantas that it's late and it's you know, all those normal things. My experience has not been like that over the last 10 years or so, except for this trip. A uh, flight out of Brisbane was cancelled, missed the flight to uh, Sydney the next morning, the flight home from Perth was an hour late. But it was really interesting, the reasons were safety reasons. So out of uh, Brisbane, the advice was the thunderstorms were uh, too strong in Sydney and it was dangerous to land. And thinking about it, I'd rather be late than dead. Uh, Qantas uh, in the end cancelled that flight. And in Brisbane there were more than 300 people to be accommodated so they gave me taxi fares, money for uh, the evening meal, put me up at the Novotel in a flash suite, gave me a taxi fare back to the airport. I understand in Melbourne they did that for 2,000 people and I'm sure that there was a significant number of those 2,000 and the 300 in Brisbane very upset but I was thinking I'd rather be late than dead um, and then in, um, on the, the Tuesday I had to fly down to Sydney to do a session and uh, a bit of a mix up on what time I was told to get to the airport 4.40 I was told which is 2.40 Perth time, so I really didn't get much sleep. And I got there 10 minutes early, I thought, but it was 10 minutes late, read the thing the wrong way. Uh, I turned up late in Sydney, but only half an hour. And uh, I'm sure there were people there cranky about that fact. But again, I would say, who would you rather have? An airline that puts your safety first, or one like happened recently in Indonesia, where the pilot was told the wind's too strong, uh, you shouldn't land, you should wait a bit. He said, oh, I think I'd give it a try. Plane crashed, nearly 200 people die. Now, it put a new perspective on travelling. And then on the last part of the trip, out of, out of uh, Melbourne to Perth, uh, the intercom didn't work. Pilot comes on and explains why they needed to fix it. It might take an hour or maybe a bit more, uh, but safety is first priority. Now, it did take an hour or a bit more, but they put some extra fuel on the plane and made up nearly 40 minutes. So I got home 20 minutes late. I think the important thing is I got home. Uh, so for all of those gripers about Qantas, I don't feel the brand has been damaged at all with the engine failures, with them running late because of safety issues. I think we should rejoice in the fact that Qantas puts our safety above uh, being on time and budget considerations. So I say to Warney, stick to uh, playing cricket or, or playing uh, poker and stick up for our great icon, Qantas. Thanks, see you soon.